The great majority of cryptocurrency and finance as well as Ripple and XRP will be discussed today. Having stated that, I want to discuss a few current events with you guys. As I mentioned in a recent video, we have begun to notice oblique references and somewhat strange statements being displayed on the debt clock. In fact, I was discussing with you guys some of the pictures that were now being shared on the debt clock website. Think about this, okay? We are aware that a very significant event is circling the world financial system. How is this known to us? Since the BIS has informed us of this, this is what the World Bank and the IMF have both informed us. This is what almost all of the key actors in the global financial system have been telling us for some time now. They don't just declare outright that XRP will be used. This is going to be useful. It's what we're going to do. No, that is not what they will say. I think we need to figure out how to interpret what these elites are really saying to us is this. I see a lot of people in the XRP community and in general. People in the crypto world claim not to use XRP because they don't disclose their usage of it, or they say it's not XRP. It doesn't say anything like that, but it's this. Only a small number of elite documents exist that specifically reference the following cryptocurrency, XRP, XLM, and Q and T. They are essentially the only ones who have appeared frequently in these records. Time, I keep saying, you have to constantly be aware of what the elites are up to. Once we start to see a lot of these things roll out, the majority of people will be taken by storm because they involve moving money. The nature of money is evolving. Furthermore, the debt clock has been informing us that money is a fabrication. It's phony. We must return to the gold and silver standard. Furthermore, I believe that everything is beginning to come into alignment. Correct. We have previously discussed this, stating that a significant shift is on the horizon regardless of whether it involves a gold-backed system, DLT, blockchain, or cryptocurrency. Correct. All we have to know is that something big is about to happen. One important component of the puzzle is DLT. Furthermore, it appears that silver and gold are also important elements of the puzzle. How do we know this too? That's a result of the actions taken by the elites and central banks. They're not hoarding US cash. They are not hoarding gold. They are discussing utilizing DLT. They are discussing utilizing blockchain technology. There is a revolutionary shift taking place in the financial system and the realm of money that we have never seen before. It's long overdue. Beyond all of this, though, I bring up the US debt clock imagery again because a new one has been released. Special thanks to Ryan Cunningham. In fact, he sent me this over Twitter messaging, and as you can see from the image of the debt clock for tonight, there is no money remaining. It is all phony. It's time to put those assets on a decentralized blockchain and go back to the gold and silver standard. It goes without saying that he is discussing XRP here. I'm not sure, are you? Regarding relocating all the money or something like, I'm not sure if XRP will be used. Actually, I always said that you don't realize how much of a model it is. XRP won't likely move all the money, in my opinion. I believe that a number of players in this market will contribute to the facilitation of money. XRP won't be only one. However, even in tiny percentages, it doesn't have to be all of the money that XRP transfers. We'll bestow great prosperity upon those who truly perceive and comprehend this. But this is the picture, isn't that right? As you can see, there is a red and green switch right there. Although it isn't underlined, if we look at what transpired thereafter, we can see that the transition has been made because the green button is now lit up. I'm not sure if this is similar to the tale to flip the switch or anything, but I do believe that something similar will occur, possibly in November, where the old system will be replaced with a new one. I've been discussing this with you guys for a short while now. That being said, I am aware of the bank problem. It hasn't ended. It was posted in July of last year. And I mentioned that nobody is discussing the impending bank crisis. This is from Inc.com as well. They have now discussed Silicon Valley Bank, which pales in comparison to what is to come. They also discussed the impending liquidity crisis. Yes, even with today's tight liquidity, the declining amount of office space, which is particularly true of commercial real estate and switching. Now that we're taking a closer look at what's going on behind the scenes at banks, I've stated it repeatedly. Banks are in a difficult situation because, save for the possibility that we emerge from this without experiencing a recession, we recover. What's the main thing we should take away from this? First, notwithstanding 2008, banks have not learned their lessons. Second, the money's a hoax, as we all know. Thirdly, because they don't, central banks and bankers are a major issue. I shouldn't imply, though, that they lack financial management skills. Since these are the same folks who widely print even Janet Yellen, I believe that they have simply chosen to remain ignorant. Similar to when we take a close look at Janet Yellen. Within the following seven years, these folks hope to print a further 17 or 18 trillion dollars. Why is there a lack of liquidity while banks are struggling to survive and the economy is growing? The worst instance in history. Isn't this a significant issue? 
However, it don't give a damn, which is why we need a significant overhaul of our current system, which hasn't functioned properly for decades, ever since we abandoned the gold standard. This is the reason why many believe that we are returning to the gold standard. As I have discussed, DLT, XRP, gold, and silver may all have their place in the market, whether or not that is the case. DLT crypto, in my opinion, is still an essential component of this new framework. The elite's desire for CBCs is already well known. We're not sure if the CBC will show up. They want adoption, as you well know, but if we follow through, I believe that may work out well for them, particularly in the retail space. Considering that it's a digital currency controlled by central banks, I don't think it's a particularly remarkable success story. What exactly are we altering about that then? Not much, but the reason I believe that the banking industry is about to undergo significant upheaval is because, well, banks are still facing difficult times. In the third quarter of this year, Bank of America disclosed unrealized losses on securities of $131.66 billion. Simultaneously, we witnessed the DTCC, the biggest securities transaction mover, 2.33 quadrillion annually, revealing their intention to utilize DLT. The absurd thing about that is that a roadmap was actually seen pointing out ISO 20 to 2. Let's get it done and release it. Additionally, in this year's scheduled go live will be DTCC ELT based updates. Examine this. Permit me to open this in another tab. DTCC announces the commencement of an upgrade to the trading information warehouse for derivatives based on DLT with a target launch date of 2023. Powerhouses in the finance industry, established financial players, are behind the scenes making big moves. And as you can see here, DTC plans to change its corporate activity from ISO 20 to 2. A significant time range to look at is this year's next month, but we also see here for my 20 to 2. Let us proceed. 2023 November updated swift cross-border changeover. The date is now displayed here, along with the activation switch. Examine this. This is the previous. This article explains the significant adjustments that the regulation changes imply, which on November 19 of this year will go into effect worldwide. The channel's SWIFT Interbank SWIFT score, DTA Bolero, and this is the old document when you see the SWIFT activation setting are among the modifications that have occurred. A crucial switch is used to activate the SWIFT 2023 capability. You can observe and test the new capability prior to its activation date in November 2023 by turning it on and off within the application. This date is not specified here. Quickly activate CBCAR Plus on an indeterminate date. By the way, the blockchain products are on the left now. This is the updated document that we now have. In fact, the entire text is available online and the system configuration is being maintained. On November 19th, ISO 20 to 2 corporate action messaging on SWIFT is also visible to the DTC. November of this year appears to have everything in place, including the digital euro. They declare November. Similar to what is happening with November, November appears to be a pivotal month in relation to all of this. We are now returning to the Bank of America as well. The irony of this is that I mentioned Bank of America in the video I made yesterday, in which we witnessed Ripple defeat the SEC, and I mentioned that Bank of America is pleased with Ripple's influence on crossword payments. Four months ago, a report was released on this subject. And this is also, you know, maybe a year later. As you are aware, Bank of America expressed that they would be happy to use on-demand liquidity once the ongoing legal dispute with the SEC was settled. Therefore, Bank of America should take advantage of this now, since they are losing a significant sum of money, once more. Furthermore, David Schwartz is actually quoting that piece, which is why we just witnessed him yell to invert the chain. But as you can see, David Schwartz, we risk falling behind technological advancement if the dollar doesn't possess it. In a manner akin to what transpired with Sony due to digital downloads, if individuals desire digital downloads, this cannot continue, with banks either unable to use on-demand liquidity or forced to hold money in their noses. Is it causing losses and bankruptcies for banks as well? Check out the Fed's offerings here. The popularity of the dollar faces geopolitical challenges in the United States. If the currency falls behind in terms of technology, this could work against the dollar's acceptance. Thus, I believe they will find themselves in a situation similar to what happened to Sony when they witnessed the emergence of digital music. They say things like, we have a good position here, but technology advances could take it away from us. Also, we would like continuing to sell CDs. However, we cannot allow Apple to become, well, China in this case or any other country that wants us to play the role that the US does if people want digital downloading. United States, things from the Federal Reserve, that's it for you folks, isn't that right? Many people believe that the US dollar is falling behind other currencies in terms of technology since technological innovation is occurring outside of the US. This is evident when considering the US dollar. Additionally, 
I believe that banks are beginning to recognize the incredibly enlightening efficacy of DLT, blockchain, and cryptocurrency, particularly XRP. Recall that XRP's liquidity and many of Ripple's services, including those provided by banks and businesses, might free up cash as been imprisoned. Additionally, they could unleash enormous cash flow. And this is like, this is money that might be useful, particularly for these large banks that are currently losing money due to the continued restrictions on liquidity. And for that reason, a lot of individuals continue to believe that banks are still having problems. Behind the banks, a crisis is still simmering. And I also concur that nothing has increased liquidity when it comes to banks. I mean, consider this, due to low money availability, people are currently accessing 400 and one accounts within the system. The cost of living is so high that there isn't much money going in for individuals at the moment. Everything in our environment is getting more expensive, including groceries, gas stations, and ATMs. Imagine that, though. Our wallet's worth does not keep rising. Additionally, if no one is using the bank account, it's possible that not a lot of money is entering it. And on top of that, there are now mounting financial responsibilities from the bank. For instance, such as these unrealized losses, such as all liquidity, which is depleting in bank accounts and the financial industry as a whole, as we all know, goes hand in hand with all of this. We also know that a number of banks have closed this year, and it appears that the banking sector's liquidity will not likely improve unless they find a way, which is, in my opinion, the reason November is beginning to stand out. They are aware, in my opinion, that they must access something in order to unlock value of some kind, and the easiest way to do so is to use blockchain DLT. For this reason, I believe a lot of this is going live this year. Recall that in a statement about the institutions, it was stated that 2023 is the time for construction and 2024 is the launch date. It appears that all of this is building toward that date, with November 2023 appearing to be the key month to watch. As stated before, none of this will have an immediate effect on the price. It concerns the actions that must be done in order for us to truly witness utility being highlighted in the area and utilized. Having said that, I sincerely hope you all like this video. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and turn on notifications if you did.